What's up guys and welcome to June's 2015 featured app of the month. Today's app is called Droid Optimizer. Since using the Galaxy S6 as my daily driver, many of you have asked me what I've been doing to keep the battery in the green longer. Now there's many tricks you can do to improve battery life like using a darker wallpaper or turning the screen brightness lower, but you shouldn't have to handicap your phone to be able to use it. So let me show you what has worked best for me. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is download Droid Optimizer and I'll leave a link down below to make it easier for you to download. When you launch the app, you're greeted with a really simple and clean user interface and some basic stats on how much storage you have and also how much free RAM you have. When you push on free RAM, you can see all of the running apps which are divided into two sections. One of them is user apps which are apps that you downloaded separately from the Play Store. The other is system apps which are apps and services that are native and can only be uninstalled with root access which I'll talk about later. If you push on close all, you'll notice a bunch of apps close and some still remain active which I'll explain in a bit. You'll also notice that within a few minutes some of those apps may restart back on their own and you're probably thinking to yourself this is just playing a cat and mouse game in the way that Droid Optimizer kills an app but Android just restarts its service and that happens over and over which is bad for the battery. This is where Droid Optimizer is different. You can create a whitelist of apps that you don't want to hit when you're doing a cleanup. For example, I know certain apps like Nova Launcher, Tasker, Android Wear, and Dropbox need to run in the background, so I exclude them when I clear all of my running apps. Now there's another button called One Touch Speed Up, which is different from pushing free RAM and closing all of the running apps and services. If you go into the settings of One Touch Speed Up, you can specify what happens when you push on that button. For example, the first toggle switch is labeled clean cache. This will empty the system and application cache. The second toggle is stop background apps, which is what I was talking about earlier and clearing up the RAM. And the last toggle switch is if you want to use your whitelist or not. And you should leave this on to make sure that apps you don't want closed remain active. You can also do automatic cleanups by creating a task and setting up a time. So you can have it do it every 30 minutes, every hour, every 12 hours, or any time you set. You can then specify what you want to clean, which is clearing the system and application cache, stopping background apps, clearing your browser history, and if you want to use your whitelist or not. Another way to save battery is by creating a good night scheduler that disables Wi-Fi at a specific time frame that you specify. Now there's also other things like cleanup that lets you search big files like thumb data and remove them to free up more storage. One of my favorites is Auto Start Manager. If you have any apps or services that you don't want to automatically start on boot up, this is where you can disable them. You want to toggle the Show All Apps Experts Only to give you the full list of apps and also system apps and services you can stop on boot. This is where you want to disable all of the Samsung bloatware that destroys the battery. Now because I'm rooted, I've actually deleted all of the system apps and services that were installed to make sure that they never turn on and also to gain more storage. There's a few other tools like Privacy Advisor which shows you a list of apps that are considered suspicious. When you tap on one of the apps, it gives you a list of all of the permissions this app has on your phone. Now you won't be able to block a specific permission, that requires root access, but you are able to delete the app if you're concerned, but with Android M's new permission manager, this won't longer be needed in a couple of months, but it's still nice to have. Last thing is the app manager. Here you can see all available information about an app. You can sort apps, filter them, and even uninstall them. I think many will like Droid Optimizer because you don't need root access. Using this app, I've learned a lot about specific apps that I've uninstalled because they were using way too many resources, including system apps that were part of Samsung's bloatware. And now that I figured out what apps and services I needed to get rid of, I've been able to get all day battery life and enjoy my Galaxy S6. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button as it does help out the channel. Also, I know many of you are gonna ask me, the back of my phone is rocking a dbrand skin. This is the carbon fiber version and I'll leave a link down below in case you want to pick one up. Thanks again for watching and you'll catch me in the next one. Adios.